What is it? How do my plants get it? And how can we treat it? So powdery mildew is a very common disease in broadleaf garden plants. You'll see it pop up in your zucchinis, most of your squashes. You can even get it on lettuce and tomatoes and eggplants and peppers, um, most definitely cucumbers. It's pretty unsightly and it can take a plant down pretty fast, but it's not the end. So powdery mildew starts to occur when the nighttime temperatures drop and you start to get a lot of moisture on the leaves. And so it begins, you know, as these little white spots here. It's actually little fungal spores camping out on your leaves. And it can even reach the stems. You know, this plant may look, you know, past a state of saving. But we can bring this plant back to life with a few simple steps. So the first thing I'm going to want to do, in the case of my zucchini plants here, is to take off all the diseased leaves. Basically go through this whole plant. There's actually two plants here. Take off all the brown leaves. Take off all the leaves with any of the white spots on them and really clean this up. Now when you do take off the leaves, don't simply throw them in your compost. You could be spreading this disease around to other plants in your garden. All right guys, two zucchini plants down, one more to go in the front yard. Pretty ruthless. Let's come back in a week and see how it bounces back. All right, so by cutting off all the diseased foliage of our zucchini plants, we're halfway there to eliminating our powdery mildew problem. So even though we've cleaned up our plants, you know, they look fantastic, it's all green foliage coming up, there's no way we've gotten rid of all those powdery mildew spores. They're still there, they're still on the good leaves, they're on the zucchini, they're on the squash, they're even on the mulch. And so the next rain comes, you know, it splashes more spores up onto the leaves, and then away they go. So in step two, I'm going to show you how to make a solution so that you can spray on your leaves to completely rid your garden of this powdery mildew problem. All right, guys, welcome to step two of ridding your garden of powdery mildew. Now in this step, we need four ingredients. We need four cups of water. We need baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. We need a non-chemical, non-perfume um, hand or dish soap. And then we need regular vegetable oil. So what we're doing here is we're making a foliar spray that we can spray on our leaves and our fruit and on top of the mulch so that we can actually kill the powdery mildew. So first up, let's take two heaping tablespoons of our sodium bicarbonate, uh, just regular baking soda. All right. That in there. Okay, so this is what's actually gonna kill the powdery mildew. Now it won't harm your plants, it won't harm your fruit, it won't harm your vegetables, and more importantly, you know, when you go to eat that zucchini, it's not gonna harm you or your family. Now, next up, we have the dish soap. Now the reason we're doing this is not for the powdery mildew, but usually with powdery mildew, hand in hand, go aphids. And you'll see as your plants become stressed, they become more susceptible to more powdery mildew, well, they also become more susceptible to aphids. So we really want to bring these plants back to life. You know, it would be one thing if we were just cutting them down, you know, who cares? But I want to try and harvest more zucchini, you know, as the summer goes on. So I'm going to try and revive these plants. So I don't want them to become susceptible to aphids, you know, on their road to recovery. So I just add two tablespoons. of the soap. 
Now, I can't stress enough, it's got to be a natural soap. You know, it can't have perfumes or chemicals in it um, because it will damage your leaves. So make sure of that. Okay, now our last ingredient is the vegetable oil. Now, the vegetable oil, it doesn't really do anything towards the aphids or the powdery mildew. But what it does is it acts as a spreader sticker. So what's a spreader sticker? Well, this solution, you know, could easily just come off, you know, the next time you water your plants or the next time it rains. This stuff will make our solution stick to the leaves and stick to the stems so that it can do what it's supposed to do and that's treat and kill the powdery mildew. So you just want to add one tablespoon of this guy. Nope, a little bit more. Not going to hurt anything. Okay. So you just want to stir this really good. And now you need to go get a clean, fine spray mist bottle. Okay, let's give our solution one final stir. And let's get it into our clean spray bottle. All right. So set your nozzle to as fine a mist as possible. Now we're ready to go spray some plants and kill some powdery mildew. Now make sure to get as much coverage as possible. You know, spray the mulch around it, spray the soil, we could even spray the sides of the beds, other plants, you know, we've got some brandywine tomatoes here. They've probably got spores all over them. So just spray everything. You know, if you got a backpack sprayer, this would, this would be ideal, especially if you have multiple plants, you know, I've only got three zucchini plants left, so I'm not too worried about it. But if I had several beds of these guys, I would have hooked up the backpack sprayer and done a huge broadcast all right let's go spray that bed out front okay guys so it's been a little under three weeks you can see how this zucchini plant um, the one out front that I cut down to nothing has totally come back to life now there's still some damage on the leaves um, quite likely I should have kept up with the spraying so I'll give this guy another spray uh, after the video um, and I planted some spinach uh, in, in around it uh, which needs some more water but anyway check this guy out he's already got his zucchini there there's another one coming out here and more female flowers oh, as well as a male flower just interesting to see this time of year and then look at that whirl of buds down there so I'm probably going to pull 10, 12 zucchinis off this that, you know, if you had saw that plant before, you would have just cut it down and thrown it away. So, you know, extending the life of this crop, you know, with a few minutes of pruning and then a few minutes of spraying with that powdery mildew solution. Unbelievable. So that's it, guys. Pretty simple stuff. Don't let powdery mildew get you down. It's not the end of your plant. Depending on the time of year and depending on what vegetable you're growing, oftentimes you can simply prune that plant, spray it with a solution and bring that plant back to life and get some more production out of it before the fall. Now, a couple takeaways from the video. Make sure to completely prune the diseased plant of all damaged foliage that you can see. Once you do that, make sure to get rid of the foliage. Do not put it in your compost because you could simply spread the disease. Next, make up your solution of powdery mildew killer with three cups of water, two tablespoons of baking soda or sodium bicarbonate, two tablespoons of chemical-free non-perfumed dish or hand soap, and then one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Mix it all together into a fine mist spray bottle and completely spray the area, 
spray any neighboring plants, spray the bed, and spray or wash any tools that you've been using to prune back those diseased plants. Now, when I was researching powdery mildew a few years ago, I actually found that aphids can actually be a vector for transferring the powdery mildew spores. So even if you don't have an aphid problem, I would still put that dish soap in there to make sure that you're killing any passing by aphids that could have those spores on them. So pretty simple stuff, guys. If you're able to do these few things throughout the year, your powdery mildew problems will be a thing of the past. As always, leave any questions or comments down below. You know, how are you getting rid of powdery mildew? Does your garden even get it? You know, it is a common blight on gardeners. So don't be scared. Don't feel down on yourself if you do see it. There's a solution to getting rid of it and dealing with it. And you might even be able to rescue those plants that look like they're beyond repair. Click subscribe if you haven't already. For those of you that have, I really do appreciate the support. I'll see you next time.